Okay, and I'm trying to say that it's relief sculpture, and relief sculpture, kunya ne sculpture. But what we're gonna be focusing on will be a relief sculpture, seven. Yes. Is it an any relief sculpture? I don't. Done. A relief sculpture. Yes. 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 Exactly. By asking this question, Koliswa immediately establishes what learners know. She continues the process by introducing the medium and the materials to enable the learners to visualize what they are going to make. It's called e -e -e crayons. E crayons. This is the outline of the face. Seven. Yes. The mirror, seven. Yes. Then you're gonna look at the face and the mirror, then you're gonna draw it on this side of the board, seven. Yes. Then you're only gonna deal with the outline of your face, seven. Yes. That means also when there's the eyelashes, no, that is not important. The only thing that is important here is the outline of the face, the outline of the eyes, the outline of the nose, outline of the mouth, the outline of the ears. Seven. Yes. Then you're gonna capture that with water glue. How it when you say the paper seven? You're gonna fold another paper wako, You mix it with the glue. Then you're gonna create. And I want to see some flesh on the face. It's not just going to be the outline, but I want to see the forehead. Because when you're looking at your face, you can see that the forehead has got a, a, a bulky and flesh and it. Then I want the nose to come out because if you touch your hand like this, and look at me, yes. then that means the nose is going to come out. Seven. Yes. The nose must come out because then also there is a groove also coming like the Then I want you to capture them as exactly as possible. Seven. In art, we differentiate between shape, which is two dimensional, and form, which is three dimensional. Here, the three-dimensional form of the face is initially represented as a two-dimensional shape on a flat surface. The learners will now build up the features of their portraits to show their three-dimensional form. Now, the following step, Kengoku. We are finished with uh, the outline of our faces, and it. Then what's going to follow now is the relief sculpture. Kengoku, Apo, Sitrayo, creator the flesh of the face seven that means apa umtu abumba as nyama zobuso and it as i said most of the one now um bamba apa is moonsy is at least kuko in the house this is this is in a man did it like yeah man if we born an hour we create a whole life of boy and cool run a seven kind of figure it up as the little seven was born as a little this is cool and relax. Can the impumla se funi bana ipumile pa ya na me se se funu abon na mashia wa kosi wa bana na mlo mo wa kosi bana se funu se bana inye. Okuba uzizobe unomil se funu wa bana mazinyo wa ko enga pa the seven. Songo ku we gonna do the real job. That means we gonna work with our hands. What we do first, we take a newspaper. Wonge umdo take newspaper in front of you. Underneath you there is a newspaper. You simply tear it, no matter what you tear pieces of papers. These little papers that are in front of you, the one that you've teared up, they are your fleshes. That is what is going to create the flesh on the relief sculpture that you're going to be doing, Seven. Then your guidelines will be the outline of your face, Seven. Zonge as outlines is our basic guidelines, is like Seven, number nine. Then we're gonna start with the hair. So color paint logo, upper into it color corner. Then you're gonna create in wellies. I go seven. So once and done, you're gonna take one piece of paper. Then you put it into your glue seven. You try to fold it in order to create the shape of your hair seven. To try to create the type of e bulkiness or e shape. In wellies, I go seven. We are using water glue. This water glue 
it's easy when you're making a relief sculpture, but especially if you're gonna work with papers. Simple newsprint, you just simply take old newsprint and you simply tear them rather than using a scissor because sometimes you don't want these edges that you find when you're cutting with scissor. And you simply dip it in an open bucket like this one rather than using a small bottle, maybe like a, a purity bottle. Then if you're using an open bucket like this one, then you simply put the papers inside and you dip them in, into the water glue and you start making your relief sculpture. It is not necessary to wait for the glue to dry before learners begin painting. Since now you are finished with putting up the papers to stack into your relief sculpture, then now we're going to go a step forward. We're going to use color to create the real features of the face, the highlights of the face. That means we're going to use what we call tonal values. Do you know what tonal values are? No. no. Okay. Then tonal values, when you're looking at your face, when you looked at your face on your mirror, you could see that there were dark areas and there were light areas. Isn't that so? Yes. If you look at the face, do you see where the light is coming from? The light, the light. The light makes shiny parts into your face. Do you see that? The light areas, just because of that light, it creates the shining areas on your face. Those are the areas that you're going to make light on your relief sculpture when you are using your paints. The three colors that are in front of you are more or less the color that you will have to use in order to get to capture the color of your face. Then now we are going to use hands because I, th I found that hands are more freer than the brush because if you have to use your hands, you are, you are working with less paint. You just dip your hands into your paint, then you just go over wherever you want it to go over with and where you want it light, you simply take your white paint. White is not a color, but it is a, a tint. And where you want maybe a little bit of a, a, a shiny part of the face, then you go over for, for yellow or crystal. far away from your work, then it's easy for you to, to see that maybe you need, you need a darker area in a certain area or you need a lighter color for a certain area. Goliswa introduces a fourth color to allow for darker shades. Likewise, you have to be flexible and make changes to allow the activity to develop. There are different approaches. Umdu in the will never be the same. So this is the product at the end. more realistic. more realistic. it's like real. exactly what I This one, this one is not realistic, but is expressionistic. Seven. Then nalapa, there's nothing wrong with this. Everything is still okay, but that is how comfortable he wishes to work. The way I am a paper wake, then I beg and I paint like it. You get into a fana, you get into a lungine, and this is still a relief sculpture. Both of them are still relief sculptures, and both of them are okay. These portraits should be further resolved by learners working in the background. Alternatively, like this. They can be cut out and displayed. <laughs> 